Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rao, your online instructor. This is another video of uh, VMware Virtualization. And in this video, I am going to guide you how you can establish host profile for any ESXi. So, uh, first of all, we need to understand about the concept. It means uh, what are the importance of host profile. And after that, we'll move ourselves to inventory. And over our inventory, we will guide you every step to set up our host profile. So let's start but before that if you're new on my YouTube channel if you're watching my video first time so please do subscribe your teach me cloud YouTube channel because teach me cloud is a single uh, YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based training videos. So let's talk about the concept of host profile. So very basic understanding if we talk about uh, uh, host so as per the name suggests I'm talking about the ESXi host. For example, you establish one ESXi host with the uh, configuration of 7.0 and uh, you make lots of changes with ESXi. Like, like uh, in your ESXi host, you configured some network part. Like in case of network, you establish a, a standard switch and you make a changes with the port group as well. Like you make lots of changes with port group like create a port group with name of HR, or sales, or IT. You configured your shared storage, right? You you, you did lots of tasks. Means in with your ESXi host, you did lots of tasks. Like as a, you uh, gave your uh, one or two hours to manage each and everything. You, you give one or two hours to uh, uh, make a lots of changes with your ESXi host. Think about it. If as per the requirement, if you have a number of virtual machine and it's really difficult to put entire virtual machine on same ESXi, so what you need to do, you need to create another ESXi host, you need to install uh, uh, another ESXi host and try to migrate or try to move your existing virtual machine to another ESXi. But that time you must need to configure your entire setting separately. But with the help of host profile, no need to perform any task related to the settings of your existing profile, existing ESXi, because the host profile can help us to create a template of setting or create a uh, uh, yeah it's a kind of template because with the help of uh, our host profile we can map the same setting with n number of ESXi not only for one or two if you have if you in future if you want to create a multiple ESXi and you want to manage the entire setting like as a first ESXi so with the help of host profile you can map with n number of ESXi host so guys i hope you all of you understand about the concept of host profile guys and uh, i'm going to move ourselves to inventory and show you the proper practical how we can achieve it how we can manage it right so this is our ESXi not ESXi we center server inventory uh, ESX uh, we center server we spare we center server 7.0 and um, let me show you about uh, uh, our uh, existing setup, existing uh, ESXi. So we have a three different ESXi, 1.100, 1.15, 1.75. One Actually, I haven't configured the DNS services. That's why we need to know about ESXi in, uh, with name or with the IP address of our ESXi. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a, some changes with the ESXi 175. This is the IP address and I'm just going to make some changes and, and our ESXi is a part of training data center. So let me click here, go to the configuration and over the configuration, I'm going to uh, make a few changes with the networking. Okay. So in case of networking, just uh, need to click on uh, uh, VM kernel adapter, click three dot and click edit and i'm just going to make a lots of changes like as i'm going to activate provisioning i'm going to activate with uh, vsan and uh, yeah that's it one two three four i'm just going to activate the four different services in our esxi 135 click ok only for the testing purpose because the r moto to just copy just create a template of our entire setting and after that, we'll map the same template with another ESXi host. One change is completed. I'm just going to click on uh, switch. So this is our default switch, which is, I think uh, it's a distributed switch. Uh, let me change the distributed switch because I don't want to make any changes with DB switch. Let me delete. Give me one minute. I want to use the uh, default uh, distributed switch. Default. Uh, uh, standard switch
Okay, let's uh, make few changes with our uh, switches. Like I'm going to add uh, one or two different port group. So just need to click on add networking and we are able to find one option is related to the port group in a standard switch, right? Click next and uh, again we need to verify the switch. So we have a one switch, switch zero. No need to make any changes. Just type the name of your uh, port group. So our VLAN ID, you can say that HR finish. So one VLAN we successfully added with name of HR. I'm going to add one more only for the identification. Select the port group, click next and verify your switch type. So we have only one switch. So we just need to proceed with same next. And another option is related to the sales. I'm just going to create another uh, port group with name of sales. Then cool. So we made a few changes with our ESXi 175, right? Like we make the changes with uh, uh, to adding a two different port group and uh, uh, activated few services in our VM kernel adapter. So what we need to do, I'm just going to uh, copy the same setting uh, with uh, 15 means ESXi 15. So just need to check and verify. Uh, in current situation, only two ports are activated, vMotion and management, okay? And if we talk about the physical switch, so we don't have any kind of port groups. So I'm just going to uh, copy the existing uh, settings of our uh, e first ESXi with second ESXi. So what you need to do, right click on your ESXi host and just go to the profile. See, we are able to find one option is a host profile and we need to click on extract profile. That's it. Just need to click here, type the name. Uh, training profile okay and click okay so what exactly happened in this case uh, it will create a clone of not clone it's, it will create the template of your uh, entire existing setting of ESXi host so once our profile is ready to use we will move ourselves to uh, second ESXi and try to copy the entire setting with our uh, ESXi 2 so it is in progress we just need to wait Okay, according to the configuration, it will take uh, hardly one or two minutes. Still is in progress. Now it's created, right? So what you need to do, uh, you want to just uh, make a copy. Actually, I'll create another video regarding the uh, host profile. But for now, just give you the basic understanding that you can prepare yourself. We have a number of things that we need to perform with host profile. So next step, back to the 15 means the ESXi second and you make it you must need to enter your ESXi in maintenance mode. So you just need to convert your existing ESXi to maintenance mode, go to the settings, okay? And we are able to find one option is a host profile again. And this time, no need to do anything, just need to click here, reset host customization. So you just need to click here, yes. It will be redirect you on page of uh, host profile. Or you can also reach on host profile by clicking on this particular panel. Go to the host profile, training profile that we created. Just need to click here. It gives you the complete information about your profile configuration. So see, we are able to perform n number of tasks, advanced profile, general tab, n number of options are available, right? So our agenda to just map this profile to another ESXi host. So we will discuss about these options as well, means how uh, these options can perform the task in real environment, so we'll guide you. But for now, we are responsible to just map that uh, profile with another ESXi host. Let me check. Okay, we just need to attach it and once you attach, once you attach the profile, it gives you two or three different options. Just need to click on host profile and click on last option. This is edit host customization. 
click here it gives you the complete information related to your uh, ESXi so we just need to provide the internet detail means uh, IP address it's a 15 okay everything is fine otherwise you need to fill it manually click OK okay so it will take few minutes it may be one or two minutes to copy the entire information you must need to provide the ESXi IP address right and let me check still we are unable to find any option no problem right click here go to the host profile and then you need to perform the task of just remediation just need to click on remediation and click remediate it is in progress just try to copy the entire uh, settings of our existing ESXi host to a uh, new ESXi it is in progress so we just need to wait okay 100% completed let's try to copy the host configuration to 15 Cool. So 50% completed and we are able to find HR and sales automatically highlighted in our uh, 15 years as I used, right? And uh, okay, 100% completed. Need to verify the setting of VM kernel. Go to the edit option and see 1, 2, 3, 4 options activated. So not for the networking, you can manage a host profile for multiple settings. You need to copy the multiple setting from existing ESXi to another. So I hope you all of you understand properly about the concept of host profile. We'll connect again and discuss more about the usage of host profile. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. And please do subscribe your Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Bye-bye.